glorious day in the East Tennessee mountains. You can see it's just beautiful. But well, anyway, this video is in a little bit better video about the oak trees and these big old woods where we've been finding all these shotgun shells, all these musket balls and lead shot. And I just want to show you a little more about them while we have the time. Right there's one. It's probably 200 years old itself. And you can see it go way up there. But these old trees are in decline, unfortunately. I don't know if it's disease, insects, or just the climate. I don't know. But you can see there's a lot of a lot of old limbs breaking out of it there. But uh, it's a nice tree. Here's a better angle of it. And you can see I took it with my range fire there. That's about a hundred foot tall right there. Give or take a little. That's all you can do to reach straight up on it. But it's a beautiful tree. It's seen some history. That's probably four foot at the trunk of it. It's right on the side of these old rocky ridges. These ridges are real dry and gravelly and well-drained soil, so that's what they love. So, we'll move on to another tree. Right here's another one. Not quite as big as that one is, but that's at least 100 years old. Stands probably 80, 90 feet tall. It's probably three, three and a half inch at the trunk. But you can see these old trees here. Or these big limbs are breaking out of them. From storms and stuff like that. Because it gets real windy on top of this ridge. Okay, this one's probably the biggest one in the woods right here big chestnut oak. Now don't confuse these with the American chestnut. American chestnut oak, they died off uh, 70, 80 years ago. A black come in here, worked its way down from the top of us, the northern Appalachians down. And he, just some kind of blight. And he killed all the American chestnut. I remember seeing one when I was a small boy. It was about dead. But it was in an old farm. And it had chestnuts on it. Almost the size of a baseball, if you believe that. Now these chestnuts here are about like a ping pong ball. But they've been putting off nuts, but the squirrel and the deer and the turkey and the bear they more or less hit the ground, they're on them. They're in competition for them for this winter coming up, trying to fatten up. Well, anyway, I'll show you the base of this. These old cameras don't do it justice. Nothing to scale with. Right there's probably an old one that's been laying here for, Lord have mercy, how long? Look like a hundred year old tree, no tell how long it's been laying here. But I'm gonna get up to the base of this thing if I don't fall down. And I'm gonna show you. That thing is probably four to five foot at the trunk. And you can see. That looks like a big tree back there in the woods that you barely see through them tree limbs. 
but no, that's a limb that broke out of this tree. Because if you look at it, let me try to zoom in on it. It broke off right in there. I'm getting a better place to show you. See right there where it broke off? That's probably a good fraction of that tree. And it's laying. It must have been a big storm. A big storm. Because right there it lays. I thought that was a tree at one time, but no. That old limb's hit the ground and flipped over. And that thing is two to three foot diameter right there. Broke right out of the base of that, right out of the top of that tree right there. And that tree, it's ever bit of 300 years old. And it's probably the oldest one. And his stands way over a hundred foot. But I can't be exact. Well anyway, you can see up the hill here. Another big old oaks. I don't think it's a chestnut oak, I think it's a a big red oak right up there. That's big. It's probably two hundred years old. There's one that's dead. That old chestnut oak, it's dead. He'd be laying on the ground here before long. So, we're gonna move on. All right, you might have seen this one in some of the earlier videos. I found a lot of shotgun shells around here old. And like I said, that tree right there, it's been broke off. And I've been in this area 25, 30 years. And it's been that way since I've been here, broke off. I guess it just died or a big storm destroyed it and it just went away. But it's laying on the ground there deteriorating. And it's been there as long as I can remember. So you're talking about 150, looks like the size of it, about 150 year old. Chest and oak broke off. And you see right there is another one. Right there is a trunk for that one. That's probably not almost the size of the one I just showed you. But there's some big red oaks in here, big white oak right there. And there is a couple of big old hickories in here. Some old ones. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed. But the biggest Tennessee, I'll leave a link on the description of this video. Please follow up if you want to on the uh, Chestnut Oak and the one in the Smoky Mountains. It's supposed to be the country's most tallest at 144 feet. And it's down on the Tennessee side of the Smokies. I don't exactly know just where, but I'll do some research on it. So I want to thank y'all for uh, watching and hope you enjoy. I'll see you soon. Bye.